फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिप वाट आर दो सिप विच आर यूज इन एल टी एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सिप्स अवेलेबल इन एल टी एज यू कैन सी देर आर मैनी क्वेश्चन वाट डज सिप वन सिप टू सिप थ्री एंड मैनी मोर सिप्स वाट द वर्क ऑफ दी सिप्स हाउ मैनी सिप्स आर अवेलेबल इन एल टी ऑन विच चैनल सिप्स आर ट्रांसमिटेड एंड विच सिप आर एसेंशियल ओके ये दिस है मिस्टेकन विच सिप्स आर एसेंशियल्स एंड वाई वी नीड सिप नाइनटीन देर आर थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दीज सिप्स एंड वाई दीज सिप्स आर यूज इन एल टी ओके देर आर एज वी कैन सी देर आर थर्टीन सिप्स एंड वाई नाइन सिप नाइनटीन इज यूज वी विल डिस्कस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू सब्सक्राइबर और न्यू व्यूवर ऑन दिस चैनल सो डोंट फॉगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन एंड डोंट फॉगेट टू प्रेस सब्सक्रिप्सन बटन एंड शेयर इन योर फ्रेंड सर्किल ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सिप्स ओके एज यू कैन सी देर आर थर्टीन सिप्स विच आर यूज इन एल टी सो वी कैन से देर आर थर्टीन टाइप्स ऑफ सिप्स फॉर एल टी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई वी वाई दी सिप्स आर यूज इन एल टी वाट आज द वर्किंग ऑफ दीज सिप्स सो वी कैन से इज सिप कैरी इंफॉर्मेशन ओके इन एल टी ई रिलेटेड टू सम स्पेसिफिक टास्क Let's see. Uh, here you can see sieve one. Okay, sieve full form is system information block, and sieve one carries cell axis related parameters. Okay, what are those parameters? Means which carries sieve one cell axis related parameters like cell ID. Okay, mobile country code, mobile network code, tag. scheduling of other sips in sip you can see the scheduling of other sip information also okay here is sip 2 sip 2 is used for carrying common and shared channel configurations rack related configurations rrc related configurations uplink power control preamble power ramping uplink cyclic prefix length sub frame hopping and uplink arfcn okay these all information you can see in sip 2 means system information block type 2 okay when you click on the sip as you open messages layer 3 messages there you can get all these informations okay now sip 3 what is the working of sip 3 and what parameters we can see in sip 3 okay the parameters required for intra frequency inter frequency and irad cell reselections all those parameters you can find in sip 3 okay now sip 4 why sip 4 is used sip 4 having information regarding intra frequency never cells eutra carriers okay repeating information regarding intra frequency never cells okay carry serving cell and never cell frequencies required for cell reselection as well as for handover okay this information you can get in c4 and c5 is used for the other information regarding inter frequency never cells which carry eutra lt frequencies other never cell frequencies from other red radio axis technologies okay if we talk about sip 6 sip 6 is used for some information which is used for reselection to interred interred means eutron cells eutron means 3g cells okay sip 7 is used in lt for information reselection to interred means for 2g g ran cells okay for g ran cells and sip 
having information for reselection to interact cdma okay you can understand better cdma 2000 and sib9 is used for information related to home in odb means hp in odb which we can say femto cells like femto cells okay sib10 is used for a primary notification which is called etws etws means earthquake and tsunami warning systems information okay and sam sam ship 11 is used for secondary notification okay for etws and ship 12 in lte is used for commercial mobile alert service information ship 13 contains the information required to acquire the mbms control information associated with one or more mbms fn okay our next question was on which channel sibs are transmitted okay what is the mapping what is the flow of sibs it's start from bccs to downlink shared channel and then physical shared channel which we can say bccs to dlscs to pdsch okay i can write here um, bccs bccs to dlscs then it goes through pdsch okay means these are the channels on which ships are transmitted and our next question is which ships are essential okay there are two main ships which are essential in lte for a ue to access the inode b okay the most important two ships are ship 1 and ship 2 okay information regarding ship 2 and ship 13 uh, are carried in system information messages and are including in scheduling information list which is the part of ship 1 okay our next question is why we need ship 19 okay if there are uh, 13 ships then why we need this ship 19 what is the purpose of ship 19 so here we can understand sib 19 is needed when u is coming back from 3g to 2g 4g sorry okay sib 19 is needed when u is coming back from 3g to 4g means lt priority should be set high in 3g sib 19 carries absolute priority of serving umtsl and the absolute priorities of the lt frequency and cell relix sorry cell reselection three sorts okay so this is the all information about sib types of sibs why sibs are used what is the purpose of all sibs and which sibs are essential and what is the purpose of sib 19 okay this is all about sib interviewer can ask any questions related to sib so you can go deeply okay and you can see all the information which you want to check okay so that's all thank you